it's snowing outside. And I'm also noticing that my mouth looks different on the meds. It's kind of like a sad mouth. Maybe not, but I can kind of tell. And I was watching a couple of my videos or listening to them and they had picture thumbnails and I was noticing how as I tapered off the meds I looked kind of better and better as time went on and now I'm sort of back to this bleh energy of being on the meds and I tried to draw a new map of what life might be about a new lifestyle design from what I was up to before which was feeling like I was invincible on micronutrients and life would keep going along in that wonderful way but the eight and a half month cycle of having some kind of so-called relapse is way more potent. So from that, I have to figure out now what is next to explore now that I'm feeling a little bit better. I still have that pressure on my head and I'm taking three 50 milligram Seroquel and 50 plus half of a 25 of trazodone and three 300 milligrams of lithium. And I'm kind of hoping by exploring this holotropic breathwork thing that maybe I'll be able to taper off meds again because I think that I'd be somewhat safe for eight months, but maybe not. So I might stay on the meds until I have a better situation because during the rough times, it's easy to project things onto the people around me and one of the benefits of the psych ward is that doesn't really happen so much. Everyone is in there in the same situation, but staying in scenario with family when really struggling isn't good because a lot can be felt like they're to blame or I'm to blame. We're both or trying to figure that out and it's not fun, so yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a matter of exploring the holotropic breath work, and it could be life-changing, but oftentimes I have something in mind that I think is going to be life-changing, like emotional CPR or things that I've talked about along the way, and usually explore them and I kind of dabble, but I don't find something as a particular passion and I think that's okay I think I'm curious about learning about all these things but not necessarily being trained in them so I'm going for holotropic breath work doesn't mean I'm going to want to be trained as a practitioner but by exploring it then maybe it'll be helpful and I'm drinking coconut nog. So, I guess I'll talk to myself about what I might be exploring in the next few months. I'm going to look for my B6. Maybe start taking B6 with the zinc. And after this week, of holotropic breath work of three sessions. I might try the sertraline again, depending on how I'm feeling, which is so loft. And I need to find my sad light because these are things that I've experimented with. 
I did the experiment outside where I had the Muse headband on and the Muse mo monitor app and I was earthing and that didn't do as much as standing in the sun. So when I was standing in the sun, my brain definitely responded by calming down. The waves weren't like they were more like in both temporal lobes as well as the right front one. And so that is a great way to do biofeedback, like brain feedback, to see what the brain is doing. So, yeah, so keep that. I think I need to write that on here. Muse monitor app. And at some point, I'd like to graph the bits of data that I did collect. I recorded some of my brain waves when I was in extremely stressed out states. And there are files in my Dropbox. I need to know and learn how to graph them, which requires um, Excel for Mac. So I need to buy that and then figure out how to graph that which would take some time, but I watched a video by Jason Silva talking about find your passion, and I do kind of like this Muse headband for that stuff, and like using it to map what works for me and what doesn't work for me in terms of what's going on in my brain. And I might have access to an infrared sauna soon, so I, kind of want to spend a lot of time in that and just see if it can get some of this toxic energy out of my tissues. So that'll be cool. And another thing that I can try to do is I did buy the Dead Mouse class, master class, um, and I didn't really watch all the videos yet. So I can do that. And at some point, go through that newmap.info site, those super creative people, and drive around and look for a place that I might want to live. Um, I'm going to the CBT for psychosis workshop on Monday, and that was the last day I was supposed to dabble in mental health. But I wouldn't even go, but it's quite relevant to what I experience and I kind of would like to go to both days, but the Tuesday group, I have the business info class. So that will give me a pretty good idea about if I would want to do that. Because if I don't want to do that course, I could try to stay on the island longer. I'm going to go to the island Tuesday afternoon and stay for about a week-ish do three sessions at least of the holotropic breath work. And I could also work on writing a book or something. And had I continued on this trajectory, I would probably want to share my journey in February. But now that the trajectory's changed, I went through a psycho-spiritual death and rebirth, as I learned from Dr. Stan Groff in that talk that I was listening to. And I have quite a few of his books. I have The Stormy Search for the Self. I have When the Impossible Happens and Spiritual Emergence or Emergency. And I haven't read all of them yet. And all my books are packed away, so I can't even explore them right now. But I kind of resisted the spiritual aspect of all of this. I thought it was an, abs an abstraction away from the actual, as a compensation for something. But I think that's something I'm going to have to go into because, I don't know. 
I think I had some really insightful states even in this process that I've been going through with myself, but I need to go into the darkness, into the shadow, into the past, because I think that's part of what leads me to spring back, but there could be a lot of reasons and maybe it's beyond reason. Reason is sort of this linear thing, yet this whole process is showing me that my life isn't even linear. I can get to this version of myself that I like, I guess you could say, and then I get snapped back into the past and trauma and awfulness and contemplating having an evil side in a way and in daily life I don't necessarily resist that it's just not really operating but it's there it's there when I'm unaware I stopped drinking because it makes me unconscious and, and weird situations get created so it's not good but anyways I'll go into that later so holotropic breath work there's something called somatic experiencing that might be good some kind of transpersonal therapy and the holotropic breath work is a transpersonal thing so that's good because there are transpersonal things I would like to deal with like past lives and things like that and I could also work with Sean Blackwell in holotropic breathwork at some point if I like the modality if it works for me and perhaps this um, person that's helping me out with that is really great and then that's awesome because I have that resource pretty close by and maybe do a podcast or continue with the blog I'm not really the greatest at blogging um, yoga ice skating tennis one day and maybe go to church and see about that because there's this like tr Christian thing that happens in some of these states and create the dream center of course and then read the th what I created on Dropbox paper and maybe buy a new Mac laptop and edit my videos I think considering what's happened I need to edit them a little bit or put a big disclaimer about what's happening now and also perhaps use Airbnb to be around a little bit more try to create a song like a good song somehow and so I'm going to do the holotropic breath work and also the day for the business thing see if I want to do that and so next week will be a big determiner of how it, it's going to go these next few months because if the business class is really interesting then I'll just go with that and I'll be quite busy working on that stuff as long as my brain cooperates and I have lots of different things written down that I want to talk about at some point and then so after the business class if I do it then I want to explore getting a van or something and then traveling around I still want to do that I want to be free and that's the part that's important to show I think is living as a bipolar person would want to would design for oneself 